Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, do neutrinos have mass? In the standard model of particle physics, it was originally assumed that neutrinos have absolutely no mass. This is very similar to the example of a photon of light. But there have been certain experiments with neutrinos generated from nuclear power plants and also originating from the sun. These type of experiments were actually conducted with neutrinos and are giving evidence to show that neutrinos might actually have mass. But even with these results, the mass would be very, very small to even detect. Neutrinos can be described in three different types or flavors and that neutrinos can switch between these flavors. If this theory is correct, then they do have a mass, even though it'd be very, very tiny like the experiments have demonstrated. These three flavors can also have a slightly different mass to one another. The best way to actually measure a mass of a neutrino is actually through cosmology, because cosmologists actually measure the rate of the expansion of the universe. And through this, they can get those measurements and get the best estimations of the neutrino's mass. A neutrino's mass has an upper limit. This was discovered in 2012 when they found out that it was around about one millionth the mass of an electron. And also an electron is around one two thousandths of the mass of a proton. So therefore using those measurements, it's pretty much like light. So with our current technology, the neutrino's mass is so small that it can't even be measured accurately. So therefore, the only thing we can really do is measure the maximum limit of the mass. But even taking the measurement of the upper limit is the sum of all the masses of the types or flavors. So therefore, the mass of each flavor would be even smaller. But because neutrinos do have a tiny bit of mass, it therefore is affected by gravity. But because they are very hard to detect and even measure their mass, they could be a good candidate for dark matter. But the main problem about neutrinos being a candidate for dark matter is they're just not quite massive enough. Even if they are measured to actually be at the top level of the upper limit, it is still well off of what we expect it to be for a candidate for dark matter. There are certain other theories in theoretical physics that might be more plausible at this present time. Neutrinos might actually be responsible for some of the effects of dark matter, but it can't account for all of it. But there are certain experiments and certain theories in physics at this present time that are trying to find out these new things about dark matter, neutrinos, and how the universe really works. So, I hope that's given you a good insight into neutrinos and, of course, candidates for dark matter. And, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you've really, really, really enjoyed it, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.